What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel with me, Mrs. Z1. So, a few of you guys told me that we missed the Habitat Builder over on the Delta Dock Station. So, we kind of need that. Okay, so I'm dropping off some stuff, and we're going to go ahead and get in our sea truck, and we're going to go head on over there and hopefully find the Habitat Builder. I can't believe we missed it. But if we missed that, then we probably missed some other stuff too. So if at this point you haven't found the sea truck fragments, it looks like there's a bunch on the way to the Delta Station dock. Oh yeah, several of those. You know, we probably missed this because I came here at, at like nighttime. Wait, didn't we need lithium for something? For the depth module? Oh my goodness, is there any more lithium over here? I'm not really seeing any more lithium. We'll have to keep an eye out as we uh, go back home. Because I think we just needed one more piece. Okay, let's double check. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. <gasps> oh! What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network. Piece by piece. Okay, so we found that place, and apparently we never found that before, so... I mean, there's definitely stuff on this island we missed the first time. Shrub a nut. Okay, so we came here before. And looks like we got everything over there. I think this way was the way to the jump scare. And then here's the Delta Station. Oh, right there. Ha Builder Fragment. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe we forgot that. And we unlock solar panels. Bioreactor. Oh my gosh, we're getting everything. What the heck is that? Can we crouch? There's diamonds in there. I want in there. How do I get those diamonds? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, we missed a whole bunch of stuff. What the heck? Wow. It's a good thing we came back because we missed a bunch of stuff while we were here. Hopefully, we found everything this time. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and feelings. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. Wh what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings. Each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in 
in the background of existence. I am now a lone stream in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. We're gonna help Alan out. Okay, I'm still trying to find some lithium. Now, I found one piece over here by the Delta Station dock. So, there's probably another one around here, right? Come on, game. I just need one more piece of lithium. Um. Okay, there's lithium right there. But there's also a bad guy. And our inventory is full, so let's drop. Oh my gosh, he's fast too. Okay, we got enough lift lithium we are good to go let's head on back home maybe we can start making a base we really need to find that repair tool i'm kind of guessing the repair tool is in one of the sea monkey nests but i'm not 100 percent sure and we also really need to find a moon pool because the moon pool will charge up our sea truck <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I don't have enough stuff to be making batteries and sell and power cells constantly. Okay, lights are off. We are out of the sea truck. Let's see what it takes to make a habitat builder. <gasps> we do have a repair tool. What the heck? I just haven't made it yet. Okay, we just need silicone rubber for that. And Habitat Builder, wiring kit, computer chip. Oh my gosh, we need more silver. Okay, first things first, let's make the repair tool. And I think we can make the C truck depth module mark one. All we need is plastic ingot and two enamel glass. Okay, we can go ahead and make the sea truck upgrade. And we need to pin the habitat builder because we want to make that. So we already have a, a battery. We need a computer chip and a wiring kit. Okay, we're going to need two silver. And copper wire and two table coral. I think we can do that. Okay, computer chip is made. All we need is the wiring kit, and I am completely out of silver. So, that is not going to work. I don't think we need these. We're just going to leave that here. If we end up needing them, I know where to go to get them again. So, I think that'll be okay. Okay, so if you were silver, where would you be? <laughs> that is the question. One silver, oh my gosh, in a PDA? We've never been in here. Where the heck are you, dude? Leave me alone. Okay, what is this? A mobile, <laughs> mobile vehicle bay fragment, darn it. We already have that. Oh, he's right there. Okay. We couldn't kill him. <gasps> Another silver! Okay, we have enough silver to make the wiring kit so we can make the habitat builder. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Finally, we can have a base. Habitat builder has been made. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Okay, where is that habitat builder? Let's see. We have a multi purpose room. Oh. Where are we going to build this at? 
I'm kind of thinking right here. This is a pretty area, and I kind of like to stay next to the life pod just in case, and it kind of just gives me like a starting point. I'm not 100% sure on what exactly everything that is safe in this area, like in this map. So I just kind of find it easier to build next to the life pod because for the most part, that's safe. As we progress in the game, we'll probably make a base somewhere else though. Wait, why am I making a scanner room? I want to make a multi-purpose room, darn it. Okay, now we have a multi-purpose room. We need to craft a hatch. And we need quartz and titanium for that. And apparently we don't have that on us. Now all of those items we've been kind of hoarding... We are going to be using a bunch of them to craft our base. And this way, I don't have to go running around everywhere trying to locate things. All I got to do is come right back here and just grab them from my lockers and stuff. You know, maybe this isn't the safest place because, I mean, things are falling. Oh, well, we'll make it work. Okay, so we have two solar panels up there, so we should have plenty of oxygen in here. Oh Welcome my gosh, this is so nice. Okay, first things first, I want to attach another multi-purpose room. You know, we never even put the, the depth module on the sea truck. Probably should do that. Let's access the upgrades and equip. Now we can go down to 300 meters. And I'm trying to kind of grab everything out of here and we're gonna start putting it in our base. I'm making some lockers and such. And then I will get back to you guys shortly once we have everything moved over. Oh, <gasps> we missed PDAs. There's PDAs over here. Two. Brad, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no, you know me, just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. Well, I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred. The trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Lil well, needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> um, Imanu doesn't sound very nice. The damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. <gasps> <sighs> I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel, Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. Builder fragment? Oh, man. Somebody's trying to eat us. Oxygen. And we need to come back here because there's stuff here. Yeah, you're eating us. Where's my bladder? Okay, I replenished just barely. Oxygen. Come on, can we make it? Can we make it? Come on, please, please, please. Come on, we could do it. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe that actually worked. 
Holy moly. Probably should use the health kit. Probably should make some more of those as well. Okay, back down here because there was some other stuff. Even though that big nasty's there, we need to be brave. We need to go. What are you? High capacity O2 take, yes! New okay. Water? Why does it look like we have stuff to scan? A window! Okay, we definitely need to make that high capacity O2 tank. For sure. But it looked like there was a bunch of outcrops down here that have possible silver. And silver is a little bit of a problem right now. So... That was not it. Maybe I was wrong. I kind of went far with our exploring. <laughs> you know what? We're probably good. Let's head back. Um, I think the only thing that I'm doing right now is I was... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I was trying to finish up grabbing things to make a battery charger because our batteries go so fast in this game. It is crazy. Way faster than the other one. And then I guess we can see what it takes for the high capacity O2 tank as well. Okay, battery charger is complete. Oh my goodness, this is going to be super helpful. And let's see what it takes for the high capacity O2 tank. We also need to make the modification station. But I'm going to need some diamond. And I don't believe we have any more diamond. I guess we can go ahead and pin that. So we're missing a computer chip and a diamond. But let's make that high capacity O2 tank. We need, oh my gosh, we need another silver, darn it. Okay, I need more silver. So maybe I should have stayed over where we were before. Oh my gosh, you're never going to believe it. But I found silver on the first outcrop right next to our base that I had even tried. High capacity O2 tank, yes! Okay, how far are we going to be able to go down now? One hundred and twenty-nine, one hundred and thirty, maybe? That is a pretty big boost. Okay, so I have everything sitting in this locker right here, ready to make the modification station. The only thing we are missing is diamond. But I feel like we haven't done a whole bunch in this episode, except for like go backtrack. I kind of want to finish some more stuff with our base during this episode. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go look around and see if maybe we can find another piece of diamond. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Okay, so it looks like we have another artifact. Holy moly, we have so many. Oh my gosh, our power is going down. Probably should look into better power as well. But that's the later problem. <laughs> we are good right now. So let's go ahead and climb into our sea truck. 
And let's see if maybe we can find some diamond. You know what? We're going to look for diamond as we go over to the Architect Artifact X3J. Have we been over here? No, we have not. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. We haven't explored good at all, guys. Okay, I think it was just two of these little supply container things. So we got a health kit and some water. That is good. Yep, there's somebody trying to get us. Maybe we should heal up the sea truck real fast. Now that we have a repair tool. Okay, I think everything on the hot bar is good to go. Let's just continue on. How in the world do we get to these artifacts that are like pointing straight down? Oh, is there a crevice right here? Ah ha ha, I think I found it. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and leave the sea truck right here. Propulsion cannon fragment. Sweet. Now we have that. Okay. These sea monkeys are awesome now. Now that they're giving us stuff. I'm not seeing the artifact in here. So I'm going to guess that it's not actually here. Um, we've never been over here. Are you bad? I don't know. Uh, I think that thing was bad. It froze us. Oh my gosh. There's a PDA over here. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. <gasps> Here's another grab trap ball. I love those little grab grab traps. Okay, I'm thinking it's got to be in one of these sea monkey nests. Eighty-five meters down. Can we go any deeper? Eighty-four. Some sea monkey nests are like a maze. We might not find the sea truck again. <laughs> oh my god, should we find it? Oh my goodness, we found it. Unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. 
My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Okay, now to find our way back to the sea truck. Oh my goodness, we found it. We are back. But we didn't find any diamond. We really need some diamond. It would be nice if... Uh, Maybe one of our sea monkey friends gave us some diamonds. Have we? Yes. Why didn't I get that container? Food. Always nice to have. Can't live without it. This place looks really cool, though. So, I think the place we found Diamond at was over where we found, like, the sea truck fragments, but it was down just a little bit deeper. And I'm pretty sure that's where some sea truck fragments are for, like, different modules and stuff like that. So... Maybe we should explore a little bit. I mean, definitely sounded like there was some scary stuff down there. But... I mean, scary stuff is usually where the good stuff is. Oh, there's definitely a big leviathan thing down there. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's all I needed was one piece of diamond. And there it is. This place just looks so creepy, but I love it. But now we are able to go back and we can finally complete the modification station. And then we can start looking at getting some uh, upgrades. Probably, there's probably gonna be some upgrades for our oxygen too, I would assume. But hopefully next episode, hopefully it'll bring us somewhere. Where am, why am I going there? We need to go over here. Hopefully it will bring us somewhere where the moon pool fragments are so we can make a moon pool. Okay, turn off the lights out of the sea truck. In here and let's finish this modification Welcome station. Oh my goodness, what is, oh, a thermo blade. That would be very beneficial. Um, but now we have battery charger anyway, so it doesn't matter about using a used battery, and I don't think I have any. Anyways, let's go ahead and craft that up. Let's see, we can also make a sea truck depth module mark three. Wait, can we make? Oh, here's the two. Ruby enameled glass and synthetic fibers. Okay, I don't think we found any rubies yet, so we're not going to be able to make that. We can go ahead and unpin. But this is some pretty exciting stuff, guys. If you have any tips or tricks for me or you think that I'm missing something in my base. Um, I mean, I know we're missing some stuff in our base that we need to get. But let me know what you guys think I need to add. coffee vending machine I wonder what the coffee does okay so we made a desk what if we made a coffee machine for on top 
Oh, it has to be on the wall? Okay, I guess we'll put it under here. I guess I can get rid of the desk. Let's grab... Oh, you know what? We probably have enough now. Nope, missing one more titanium. Got that, no problem, though. Ah, the sweet scent of dirty bean water. <laughs> dirty bean water. Coffee vending machine, empty. Oh, you can... Is it gonna start? Calorie intake recommended. Is it just like something that I can put something? I like a storage thing? You don't get coffee from it? Are you kidding me? Okay, guys. Well, that's going to end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. If you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them down below. If you think I should be adding something to my base right now, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in any of my social links, uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Discord, you know, all, all the usual stuff that's in the description down below. And... If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well. But I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Thank you guys so much again. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.